Well, hello everyone. Hi. Welcome to another week on this purple website of ours. It's ours now. Welcome. Happy Tuesday, I think. I come to you out of the editing minds for a brief period to bring you entertainments of highly variable quality. Evans, hello. <laughs> Thanks, well. Did Ratchima capture you and force you to play this? No, no. Uh, I'll introduce what we're doing here in a minute. Um, I don't 100% know what I'm in for, but it should be a good time of some sort for somebody. And then we'll shift to playing something else, I would guess. But first, some hype training thanks to get on top of here. Thanks for the 16 months, Modown Joe. I remember this game. It was cute. I have not played this game. I've heard, I'll be honest, not a lot of positive things about it. But we will form our own impressions here. We'll see what happens. Thank you also for the 16 months. Still like the Hedron. And thank you for the five gifted subs, Baha Bali. <laughs> Quite this tradition you've started. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be an interesting time today. I expect we're going to get to at least two spin-offs this afternoon. Well, afternoon for me. Turns out there's quite a few spin-offs in between Gen 1 and Gen 2, depending on which release order you're counting. These days, Pokemon games tend to come out in all regions more or less simultaneously, for the most part. Uh, not the case back in the day. Back in the day, there were, like, years separating the releases yeah. of many of these games in Japan versus in the U.S. I'm thinking I'll go loosely by Japanese release order, just when deciding what we do when. In which case, there's like four spinoffs at least in between Gen 1 and Gen 2 games. Not that a lot of them are going to spend, like, require a lot of time from us, I don't think. I don't know how long we're going to spend with Hey You Pikachu here. Some of them, though, do merit a bit of time. Because they're pretty good, actually. Thank you for the four months, Master Who. Thanks, well. Very much appreciated. And also the five gifted subs, <laughs> Effervescent. It's very generous of you, thank you. You're all too kind. We also do have a couple, some of you have noticed already, we do have some new emotes to start playing around with. A big thank you to Dan Jones for more exquisite emote artwork. Quality stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see, a question from Raven Daydreaming. Are you going to play Pokemon Puzzle League at all? That is a good question. I don't know. I don't know if I have it on my list currently. I should probably examine it just to, or like get a glance at it to see if it's animation relevant. I guess not every spinoff we're doing here is animation relevant. Some of it's just for fun. But, uh... I don't know. I'll look into it. Generally, the puzzle games, I don't expect to have a whole lot of animation that's super relevant to the Pokemon franchise conversation, but we'll see. Basically, no Pokemon animation in it? Then probably not, because <laughs> this list is long enough already. I'll give folks another minute or two to file in, and then I'll start giving some context. Because for the bulk of people who is, like, I guess, I would guess most people who will be watching today have not played this game themselves before, I feel like a little explanation is due.
No, no, Ratima's not holding me hostage. <laughs> hey, we got both Dans here. Phenomenal. Two Dans tuning in for high quality Pokemon N64 content. <laughs> Lovely to see you both here. There are so many Dans. Do I need to start streaming so I can have a, a Dan point him out as well? <laughs> it's as good as the reason as any to start. And thank you for the hydrate reminder as well. It's a good thing to start with early as I do have a little bit of talking to do, especially while explaining what this is and what it's going to be. So... For the many of you who have not played this game yourself, Hey You Pikachu is a game that came out on the N64. Uh, not quite the first time we've seen Pikachu or a Pokemon uh, in a 3D game. Technically in Japan, they had a Pokemon Stadium version that released before uh, any of the ones we saw here. It's almost like a beta version <laughs> in a weird sort of way of the Pokemon Stadium we saw. It only had like 40 Pokemon in it, as opposed to the whole full 150. Anyway, so this one came out on the N64, and the idea, the premise of the game, is that you are playing with sort of like a little pet Pikachu. Uh, but you don't control Pikachu directly, you give Pikachu commands verbally. And they achieved this by shipping the game in a box that also contains a little microphone peripheral that you plug into one of your controller ports. Uh, on the N64. Now, the game does not have a phenomenal reputation, um, and for pretty good reason, I think. Um, it doesn't really work most of the time. Folks found that Pikachu just really didn't seem to understand or listen to you. <laughs> uh, no matter what you said, no matter how you tried to say it, um, so I imagine most people's experience with this game, if they played it at all, is putting it in, getting it set up, frustratedly shouting into this little cheap microphone peripheral thing, various phrases, saying like, hey, Pikachu, Pikachu, hey, come here, hey, Pikachu, saying that sort of thing over and over and over, um, getting frustrated, and then shutting it off and probably never playing again. Now, in the time since uh, <laughs> this game's release, folks have figured out probably one of the main reasons the game didn't work that well. Um, it turns out that the microphone peripheral that shipped with this thing is not good. It is a cheap mic. And, like, of course it's going to be a cheap mic. It's a little plastic peripheral meant to work with, like, one game, two, if, if you're in Japan. <laughs> Uh, it's like it was never going to be a high quality microphone and that's fine but this is a very very bad microphone uh, it is near impo like folks have tried testing it managing to get it like set up to where you can record through it into like their computer and stuff to hear what the sound is like and it is absurdly bad it is I, I was going to demonstrate for you here except the copy of Hey You Pikachu I managed to get I think the microphone just doesn't work at all which is not much different than what the <laughs> than the normal experience, but um, for, I've heard samples of what sound coming through that mic is like. It is here. I'll, I'll put up on screen what the, the full package uh, looks like here. There's the game. There's the little adapter peripheral thing that you plug into a controller port, and there's the little microphone that also comes with a little clip thing that you can kind of strap to your controller. Um, I, I've heard samples. Uh, of other people like recording through this mic it sounds like legitimately sounds like if you've ever played like fatal frame or any horror game where there's like people get some ghost to like pick up some talking from some ghost 
on like the radio or in some audio sort of thing where it's like super garbled and muffled and like squealy and staticky and just like terrible and near unintelligible. That is what this microphone sounds like. It, it's extremely like it is cursed sounding. It is what Pikachu was hearing back in the day in 98 or 99 or whenever this came out was really the equivalent of just sort of the Hey Pikachu, Pikachu come here. Pikachu, Pikachu, come here. Pikachu. Like that. No wonder the game didn't work. Very bad. Um, fortunately, people have also figured out that, hey, this adapter thing, um, all that, like, the microphone itself that's plugging in is just a 3.5 millimeter microphone input. Well, there's various mics that have that, or you can even get an adapter. You can plug any mic into this thing. And it uh, turns out, even slightly better mics make a world of difference. <laughs> I happen to have a slightly better mic lying around here, and so that's what we're going to be playing with instead. Also because, again, though I was pretty thrilled to manage to get a hold of a copy of this game that was, like, in its box with all of the peripheral parts and a manual even, the mic itself uh, I've tested and seems to just not work at all, as opposed to barely working so um just as well the results would be much the same we've got a slightly better mic and as a result i think pikachu might actually hear and understand us a little bit now i make no promises about this game actually being good even if the mic works but we are going to find out together it's going to be fascinating either way So now, to, now that you have context and you are prepared, <laughs> Patreon reward tier. Dan records a message for someone you hate through the Nintendo mic. I would if I could. I was I was trying to test it this morning to get it hooked up to where I could briefly talk to you through that mic so you could hear how bad it was. But uh, I was not able to get like any sound through it whatsoever. So I, which is what led me to think, oh, this is just like actually broken. I think. <laughs> Alas. Other people have recorded stuff through that mic, though, on the internet. I recommend looking it up. For a very cursed time. How did this project get approved? Like, who knows? Like, it's a fun idea. The uh, Like, on paper, this is a very fun idea. And who knows, maybe with a good mic, it is actually a cute, fun time. Thanks for the 17 months, though, by the way, Wicker Guide. Wait, so for a good while in your teens, you used this mic from this game as a mic for Skype. How did it go? How, how did people on the other end uh, react to that audio quality? <laughs> Historically, like, the concept is fun on paper for, like, any sort of game like this that you control with your voice and, like, give commands. On paper, a fun idea. And technology's come a long way. I think that, like, that idea could be made to work much better these days. In fact, I'm confident there are games that are making it work. But especially with the uh, weaker hardware of the time. I just don't have a lot of high hopes. <laughs> no one ever said anything about you using that mic with Skype, but Skype wasn't great at the time anyway, so it might not have been noticeable. <laughs> Fair. But yeah, this is this would be, I think, the second time... Well, again, it depends on how you count. You could argue this is like the first Pokemon game released in the States where like the first 3D incarnation of Pokemon in the States, but I don't think even that's true. Like of the games that were released in the States, this is the one that came out in Japan first, but I don't think it came out. I think Smash Brothers came out here first. 
Uh, which had Pikachu, at least, in it. Beep. Trying to... It's going to be tricky figuring out how, for, how to order these games in the video as well. Like, do I go by Japanese release order, U.S. release order? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I guess when it comes to the mainline games, that's pretty straightforward. Regardless, here we are. He's a chatty little Pikachu. <laughs> you just looked it up. There was no controller with the microphone built in, but the uh, mic could come with a little clip that attaches it to the back of the controller. Yes, and I do have all of those pieces. The mic itself just does not work. It does clip onto the back of the controller, though. It's, it's very cute. Pikachu. As non-functional audio peripherals go. Anyway, I've got my other microphone here uh, that I'm going to just sort of have plugged in that I've got handy and uh, just kind of setting it near my mouth. We will see how this, oops, we will see how this goes. It's going to be interesting. Well, Press start. New game. <laughs> I really like that at the bottom there. There's just something about I quit that feels especially appropriate for this game in particular. <laughs> After between five and 20 minutes of shouting at a little 3D Pikachu and having it ignore you. It's like, that does it. I'm done. I'm taking this right back to Blockbuster. Okay. New game. Game data's already saved. That's fine. Begin. It's morning. Time to get up. That's mom's voice. Wake up. Isn't Professor Oak's test today? Hey, that's right. Don't forget the Poke Helper that Professor Oak sent. I wonder what kind of test it is. Hope it goes well. Good luck! Thanks for coming! This is the Viridian Forest Edge, where wild Pokémon come to play. Right now, I'd like to test you to see if you can learn to use the Poké Helper. The test is simple. Just speak to that Pikachu so it listens to you. Now then, face Pikachu and speak to it while holding the Z button. I hope it goes well for you. Me too, Mr. Oak. There's that Pikachu over there. So if I hold down the Z button, you'll see down there in the uh, corner there, my little uh, <laughs> icon pops up. And Pikachu heard something. Pikachu heard you! The Poke Helper reads your feelings and conveys them to Pokemon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speak to Pikachu once more. Hi, Pikachu. Yes, you. Pika. Pikachu thought it heard something. Keep talking to it until it notices you. Pikachu, I know you can hear me. Don't ignore me. Hey. Pika. It looks like Pikachu still hasn't figured out where your voice is coming from. Well, keep talking to it till it comes to you. Okay. Pikachu, I'm over here. You, I'm not even that far away, buddy. Pikachu, I'm over here. Hello. The Z button is... Right, yes. 
Oh, is the screen getting cut off a little bit? Yeah, my frame doesn't fit it perfectly here. I'll resize just slightly here. Let's see. Or maybe we'll lose the frame. Uh, just resize a little bit. One moment. There we are. Okay. Time to attempt this again. Pikachu, I'm over here. Hey, don't ignore me. Pikachu, come here. Finally. You passed the test. Amazing. Even a wild Pokemon can tell that you're good-hearted. I knew that you would pass my test. I'll let you use that Poke Helper from now on. Phenomenal. Hi, Pikachu. Pikachu? <laughs> yes, that is your name. So, um... What do you want to talk about? Pikachu, say hi to the people. Hey, where are you going? Even though you connected with Pikachu, it's taking off. Maybe you should go home for the today, too. But we just made friends, Oak. I'll teach you some new things tomorrow. Okay. Home at last. It's a full day of being ignored by little mice. Welcome home. You sure look happy. Did the test go well? Is that so? You got to talk to Pikachu? Are you going out again tomorrow? Then you should go to bed early tonight. Good night. <laughs> Heading toward bed. Acquiring target. Hey, getting to talk to Pikachu was great. How will tomorrow go? To the... I don't know if I have a game pack on for saving. Just as well. Oh, the game pack is the game itself, right? The cartridge. Cartridges, remember those? It's nice out again today. Hey, there's a message. It must be Professor Oak. <laughs> Good morning. Were you too excited to sleep last night? I thought so. Well, the Pikachu from yesterday is in Viridian Forest. I'll show you the way again. I hope you can become even better friends with Pikachu. Hey, you, Pikachu. Look at the little guy. <laughs> so eager to listen. The Pikachu from yesterday is sleeping. Call it to wake it. Say Pikachu as you hold the button. Pikachu, wake up. Pikachu. There you go. Pikachu. <laughs> What's the middle of the day? Why are you so sleepy? You look tired. Look, signs appeared on the left and right of the screen. That means Pikachu wants to talk to you. Now greet Pikachu. Hi, Pikachu. Say a nice, friendly greeting. Hello, Pikachu. Pika, pika, pika. Not friendly enough. Uh, 
Hello, Pikachu. Still kind of questionable how well the game works. <laughs> so hang on. The game did come with a little cheat sheet type thing. Where did I, where did I put that thing? There it is. Um, let's see. It comes with like a little list of words that it might... Uh, or little phrases that might work out for you. Things like Pikachu or come here, this way, over here, let's play, you're so cute, good morning, things like that. Let's try good morning. Maybe that works better. Good morning. Hey, what do you know? Uh, throw it to, <laughs> throw it to me, Pikachu. What on earth did Pikachu pick up? It's a beach ball oak. You see that thing besides the thing it's holding? When you press the B button, the Poke Helper will describe the item that it's pointing to. Some of my advice is also listed, so it should be pretty helpful. Now press the B button and read the description. Okay. Beach ball? A colorful, bouncy ball. It's fun to throw it around. Try playing catch with it. You can't reach it from here. Okay. I guess it's a beach ball. Yeah, Oak. Okay. <laughs> I think throw it was written in red letters in the description. The Poke Helper uses red to show the words that Pikachu understands. Ah, I see. Now try saying throw it. Throw it. Wow. Easy, tiger. Looks like you did a good job communicating with it. Thank you. Good job. It is very cute. Pikachu's looking up at something. I wonder if it sees something. Try calling to Pikachu. Pikachu, what you looking at? Pikachu's more interested in the sky than your voice. Try calling it again. Pikachu. The sky will be there later. What you looking at? The signs appeared on the left and right sides of the screen. Looks like Pikachu wants to talk to you. Good. Now then, try asking it, what's up there? Okay. What's up there? <laughs> oh, is that what it was? You know what it meant, right? No, Oak. I don't speak... This one word language. What's this? Pikachu wants you to guess the name of the item it's holding. Maybe you should check the description in the Poke Helper. Maybe I will. An apple? A sweet red flute. Uh, fruit. One of Pikachu's favorites. I wonder, how's it taste? Alright, so apple and how's it taste are things that, uh... Let's see. How's it taste? <laughs> Pikachu's done with this. I think Pikachu was teasing you. <laughs> Good joke. Natural comedian over here. <laughs> oh, too bad. It's about time to head home. Say goodbye. Goodbye. It is real cute. Pikachu seems curious about you. Oh, good. I thought we were saying goodbye. Goodbye. Pikachu. Pikachu went back into the woods. You talk to Pikachu. Pikachu wants to do more fun things together. Home at last. Hey, it sure was fun being able to talk to Pikachu today. It'd be nice to play with Pikachu tomorrow, too.
What a weird rhythm to like, including your home life is a strange choice. It's morning. Hey, that's Pikachu's voice. Oh, I guess Pikachu might join us here as well. Well, hello. How'd you find where I live? It's that wild Pikachu. Oh, you're so cute. So this is Pikachu? It came to play on its own. I wish a Pokemon that cute would be my friend. You'd be nice to it. Good morning. Pikachu. You want in? Or you want me to come out? Hey, it's off to play with Pikachu. Have a nice time. Take care. A Pokemon picnic, part one. This is very cute, and with a mo like a mic that actually works, like like a good little kid's amusement. Oh, are you playing with Pikachu already? I see that it's brought you to the Ochre Woods. You're lucky. I've always wanted to see the daily activities of a wild Pokemon. There. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, what on earth was that? Hey, that sounds like Bulbasaur's melodious voice. Sounds like Pikachu has been invited to Bulbasaur's picnic. By the way, thanks for the uh, one, uh, the gifted sub there, Baha Bali, a little while ago. And the 18 months, Crispy Croco. And 18 months for uh, Kaine Kainekokun as well. Pikachu? Thank you very much. Pikachu? Thanks for that Prime sub as well. GJ1988. Welcome. I guess Bulbasaur doesn't have all the ingredients it needs. It may take a while before the picnic can begin. Well, Pikachu has been told to go play until they can begin cooking. <laughs> Pikachu's hearing what Bulbasaur will use in today's recipe. This is very cute. Today's dish must be a stew. I can't wait. Oak, I don't know if we should just barge in and invite ourselves. Pikachu. It looks like Pikachu's going deep into the woods. You can play all day today to build up your appetite. Lead the way, Pikachu. Sorry, I move very slowly, Pikachu. Thanks for waiting up, though. Deep in the ochre woods. You're deep in the woods now. There's plenty to eat here. Bulbasaur might be here collecting ingredients for today's meal. Well, you can play here until it's time to eat. Whoa. Stuff everywhere. A mushroom, a light, airy mushroom. It's filled with sleeping gas. I wonder how's it smell. Uh... Well, we have to see what happens, don't we? Hmm. Mushrooms don't taste very good. Oh, I can, like, move the camera around a little bit now. That's nice. How's it smell? Oh, dear. Uh, real cute. <laughs> Pikachu. Are you okay? Oh, good. What the? It's listing the cooking ingredients. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pikachu tires of this thing. 
I guess we gotta find ingredients, huh, buddy? Hmm. Oh, P Pikachu. <laughs> I'll go looking for bleh, stuff for us. Pikachu. We need an onion, buddy. No. N onion. P Pikachu. I guess they're habit forming. Pikachu, focus. Onion. I'm glad you heard me call. We need an onion. Find an onion. <laughs> Pikachu can't respond right now. Very busy. Did you find one? That's not an onion, but... A sweet potato. A sweet purple potato. Tastes best after being baked with Thunderbolt. Well, I'd love to see it. Thunderbolt! Did you find any good ingredients? Magnemite can deliver anything you find. We're... Oak, we're not to that point yet. Pikachu is asking if it's okay to give this ingredient to Magnemite. If you think it's okay, say sure. If not, say don't do that. I don't know if that's one of the ingredients, buddy. It... Thunderbolt. Buddy. Okay. Or you can eat it. That's fine, too. <laughs> Pikachu, I don't feel like we're communicating very well. Onion? No. Hey! Rude. Onion? Hmm. What are the ingredients you need, buddy? Ah, I see. So if I say ingredients, you'll show me the page for ingredients. Onion! It's getting late, but the meal doesn't seem to be ready yet. I know, Oak. Some help you've been. Hmm. Seems to be nothing but mushrooms out here, little bud. interesting. Like, I can move around, but my camera focuses on Pikachu at all times. How far can I go? I guess maybe I can go away. And Pikachu... Oh, and Pikachu will follow me. That's how we'll find things. I thought I was gonna have to wait until he led me to it. Hey, Pik... Hey, Pikachu. Get the carrot. Yes. Magnemite. Okay. We did it. Magnemite, over here. <laughs> I guess that's what you sound like. How did you get saddled with this job, Magnemite? Sounds like it's finally time to eat. Go back to where Bulbasaur is waiting. I hope they like... Carrot. Oh. Charmander's also here. Guess we'll be sharing the carrot. It's mystery soup. 
<laughs> oh dear. <laughs> if it made mystery soup, then there must have you know, mustn't have been enough ingredients. It may be a good idea to collect a few more ingredients while you play with Pikachu. I was trying, Oak. I couldn't get him to focus. He was doing too many mushrooms. Pikachu came all the way here just to say goodbye. Goodbye. Pikachu. What a cute little thing. We didn't do a good job with soup, Pikachu. but... <laughs> you and Pikachu have something in common. Both bad at soup. Pikachu loves having picnics. Home at last. Gosh, will Pikachu come tomorrow too? It's like, even with a better mic, it's still not working all the time, but not necessarily because it's not recognizing what I say. It's part in part just because the play of the game is pretty kind of <laughs> tricky to figure out. Hey, it's Pikachu's voice. Pika! Have we forgotten how to feed ourselves completely at this point, Pikachu? Pikachu came to play again today. So hungry. Good morning. Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu saying, grill me a cheese. <laughs> Just sort of have that face. Hey, it's off with Pikachu again today. Have a nice time. Take care. He finally made a friend. A field trip, part one. Springleaf Field. Oh, Pikachu brought you to Springleaf Field. This is your chance to become better friends. You'll get to see some of the different things Pikachu does on a typical day. All right, bud. This I must see. Pikachu noticed Oddish? That's an Oddish. I see. May grow when sprinkled with water. You can't reach it from here. I see. Pikachu greeted the Oddish. Pika, Pika this is very cute. Where's some water? No. Hmm. Well, let's investigate more things if we can. A flower, a large white flower. I think this one smells nice, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Impossible to tell. A leaf whistle. Huh. A whistle made from a leaf. I wonder how you play it. Play it. Buddy. Show your skills. Um. Well. Good try. <laughs> yep, done with that, huh? <laughs> I admire Pikachu's certainty with what they are or are not interested in. Hmm, a sunflower. Same color of yellow as Pikachu. How's it smell? This is okay to sniff. It won't make you nap immediately. And where are we going? Come. Pikachu. Oh, are you giving a gift? No. What? What was that? Yep. <laughs> this little fella gets tuckered out very easily. You're very cute. You agree? Oh, that's not for eating, bud. But you seem to like it. <laughs> ah, drop it. 
No. Put it down. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, you cooked it. <laughs> Couldn't tell if that was you throwing a tantrum or not. Hey, it's Oddish. Busy playing, are we? Playing what? Whoa. Good jump. What? I said it was good. It's almost evening, so you have to leave soon. Just as well. <laughs> What's this on the ground over here? Oh, the leaf whistle, of course, where it was cast aside. This choice of having the camera locked onto Pikachu at all times <laughs> is certainly a choice. Hey, get the strawberry. That's a sunflower. A good try. How's it taste? <laughs> it does feel like having an actual pet or a small child, I suppose. It's already getting late. Did you enjoy the field? I think so. Come back anytime you wanted to enjoy the field again. Well, it's time to go home. Pikachu came all the way here just to say goodbye. Thank you. Pikachu. Goodbye. Pikachu. You and Pikachu are friends. Pikachu really enjoys field trips. <laughs> These are facts. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's... I still don't entirely know how to play or what to tell Pikachu to do. What other sort of things does the manual have in it. Let's see. They have, like, different... Uh, a few phrases for different areas. So, for Springleaf spring Field, you could say things like Sunflower, or Bluebell, or Tulip. Uh, I think there's about 240 words or little phrases in total that Pikachu recognizes, if I remember right. Couldn't tell you what they all are. But yeah, I, I agree, uh, Liang Nui. I think this game's audience is very young. And for a very young audience, like, I could see this working. But like, assuming they had a decent mic <laughs> or something better than the mic this game shipped with, which I don't know why they would have that just around. I only have this, this just around just because I have a lot of audio recording equipment. So I just happen to have a mic that would work for this. <laughs> Here, we'll try another day. See what happens. Pizza. Hey, it's Pikachu's voice. Yeah, I agree. I think I think the appeal is really just, Pizza. hey, you're hanging out with a cute Pikachu, and it is pretty cute, and there's different little places and things it can play with, and who knows what it'll get up to and do. It's not really up to you to order it around or make it do things. Just have some, have some fun. Hey, it's Pikachu. Where are we going today? Where are we going? Pikachu. Out? Gotcha. It's off with Pikachu again today. Have a nice time. Take care. Caring for Caterpie. Oh, this should be good. Hey, don't eat it, Pikachu. So you were brought deep into Viridian Forest today. Caterpie live in that part of the forest. Pikachu. Pikachu's been asked to look after the Caterpie. Uh, this, I don't know if this Pikachu... I love him. I don't know if they can be trusted as a babysitter. 
Why don't you watch Pikachu babysit until Butterfree comes back? I feel responsible. <laughs> I think it's necessary someone supervise this whole situation. Caterpie, it's a worm Pokemon, said to become a pupa when it sheds its skin and evolves. It's just a bug fact if you wanted one. Are you babysitting? Yes. <laughs> Take good care of the Caterpie. <laughs> These dang kids. <laughs> now you be a good influence. There's a lot of responsibility. Pikachu found a hungry Caterpie, so it's in quite a rush. Oh dear. When Caterpie get hungry, their color changes and they bounce. Be sure to remember that. It needs food. What do Caterpies eat? Well, Pikachus find flowers pretty tasty. Uh, flower. Get a flower. Any flower will do... Oh, apples. That's probably better. Or fruit. Aw, oh, no ups. Jump, Pikachu. It looks like Pikachu wants to get a rosebud. At times like this, it's best to try to knock them down. First call to Pikachu. Then say Thunderbolt. Okay, seems excessive, but okay. Pikachu. Thunderbolt. Nice. <laughs> That's very cute. That's very cute. Um. Ah, yes, of course. Let's go feed the starving Caterpie. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Look at that happy little wiggle. Pikachu's going to get a red rose. Yeah, go for it, buddy. I would keep an eye on the Caterpie, but I literally can't keep an eye on anything but you at any time. I love how you put stuff on your head, though. You're doing a good job. Very responsible. <laughs> I didn't understand any of those words, but I agree. It's almost evening. Butterfree will be back shortly. And none of the Caterpies are dead. We've done a good job. Or are they all going down for naps? Nope, just that one. <laughs> um, you're right there, buddy. Oh, you're chasing your tail and getting dizzy. Oh. Damn. What? Why are we all spinning? Careful there, buddy. You're going to get sick. I think we got a hungry one here, buddy. Almost time for Butterfree to come back. Wait for Butterfree. I've been waiting for Butterfree. Oak. Butterfree's returned. Pika, 
Ooh. I can't really tell what that is. Can you bring it a little closer, bud? Since Pikachu did a perfect job caring for the Caterpie, it received a special reward. Babysitting was a success. <laughs> you don't have to walk me all the way home every day, Pikachu, if you don't want to. We can say goodbye in the woods. Goodbye. Oh, I got a whole ruby for that. Pokemon pe babysitters get paid pretty good. <laughs> Pikachu is friends with a lot of Pokemon. And we're one of them now. Friends, that is. Home at last. What do you do with the money in this game? Great question. I don't know. I guess it's Pikachu's money. I don't trust that Pikachu understands money. Pizza. Um, buddy, what, what have you got on your head? Good morning. Hey, Pikachu has a fishing hook. Are we going fishing today? I guess we are. Here, we'll do a fishing day and then we'll <laughs> move on to another spinoff. Good morning. Off to play with Pikachu. And Mom is fine with this. Gone fishing. Ochre. It's me, Professor O. I, I know you, Professor. Oh, Pikachu's there too. Hmm, so Pikachu is taking you fishing. That's Ochre Fishing Hole. It's a popular fishing spot. Hmm, I guess Pikachu wanted to go fishing and took you along, too. Maybe you can help Pikachu fish. When Pikachu gets a bite, it will reel it in if you tell it to. I see. Do you not really know how fishing works? Reel it in! I don't think that I really contributed there, little buddy, but good job fishing. You caught a sea king. So small. Thundershock the lake. Oh, we do gotta try. Thundershock? But I thought it was a good idea. Whoa. Reel it in. Now there is a Sea King. The biggest Sea King yet. A 35-inch Sea King. Gracious Pikachu. Reel it in. I don't feel like I'm contributing here much, little buddy. You're doing a good job, though. Pikachu, Thunderbolt. <laughs> reel it in. It's too far away to reel in. Reel it in. Hmm, Pikachu doesn't have much strength, so it can't land Pokemon unless they've been pulled in close. When Pikachu brings hooked Pokemon close to shore, tell it to pull. Ah. Too late, buddy. Pikachu may not enjoy listening to us much, but I appreciate that Pikachu just enjoys our company. Ooh. Pull. It's your first Magikarp. Huzzah.
We got us a magic harp. Heck yes. Pikachu, how many fish do you need? It's already getting late. That's enough for today. You can pick up where you left off next time you come. That's right. Be sure to pack out your, your garbage. This is the home of many water Pokemon, after all. Well, be careful on your way home. Pretty darn good fishing day, I think, for our first try. It's a lot of records pages. <laughs> this is very cute. I sort of am taking it that this is kind of the entire game. This is the whole kind of gist of it, just kind of doing this on loop. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Pikachu. Pikachu says goodbye. For 365 in-game days. I can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> Pikachu knows lots of ways to have fun. Fishing? Picnics? Eating mushrooms you just find out in the field? A full year of this. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know if Kid Me would be engaged enough with this to uh, put in 365 days. It's a lot of time to just keep a Pikachu company. <laughs> hey, there's a message. On screen. <laughs> Good morning, it's Professor Oak. I have something to give you today. It's a special toolbox for the Poke Helper. I'll send it to you electronically now. Wait just a second. You probably would have played a full year with this with one day like one day a day. I could see that I could possibly see doing like as a right daily little like, hey, all right, let me pop in, say hi to Pikachu. We'll go do some random stuff in some field. And then, all right, cool. See you tomorrow, Pikachu. That like there is something kind of cute and appealing about that. I don't know how many days I'd actually keep it up, though. <laughs> you can hold a lot of different things in this toolbox. Let me explain how to use it. First, go to where Pikachu is. I put a snack in there for you, so be sure to eat it with Pikachu. Now take care. Have a good day. Like, yeah, as a virtual pet game for the N64, it's not too bad. Not exactly robust. <laughs> but a fun, like, little gimmick. This is the entrance to Viridian Forest. I've unlocked the gate so you can go through on your own. You can press the A button to go through the doors and gates that have that on them. Now then, press the A button to enter Viridian Forest. Right, doing it. You made it through the gate. That's good. Now, where could Pikachu be? Hi, buddy. Pikachu's come to greet you. But it, it's always alone. I wonder where its friends are. Move closer to Pikachu. You may already know this, but just to be sure, let's practice using this. When you want to move forward, tilt the stick forward. Gotcha, yes. Um, where are you going? What's this? Pikachu's hiding. Use this to try to find Pikachu. If you want to change directions, tilt that left or right. Right, yeah. Found you. You didn't hide very good. What have you got? Hey. Don't throw things. What is that? Hmm, Pikachu's gone off somewhere again. Use that again to see if you can find Pikachu. I did it, Professor. Good, you were able to find Pikachu. See, the signs appeared. I want It wants to talk to you. Well, why don't you try greeting Pikachu? Good morning. Good morning, buddy. Looks like you and Pikachu are getting along very well. I think so. Now then, why don't you eat a snack with Pikachu? 
Well, I thought it was a good idea, but you can't get close to Pikachu from here. What are you going to do? I don't know. I, um... Pikachu? Pikachu's calling from the left. What's going on, pal? Yeah. Buddy, this is how forest fires start. You gotta be careful. Pikachu, open the path for you. Well then, go ahead and have your snack. Press start to open the toolbox and take out your snack. The cupcake you brought as a snack is in the bottom part of the toolbox. By the way, there are treats in the top part. Uh. Start. Here we go. Got a whole inventory over here. So uh, there's a cupcake there. Are the treats... I'll just assume the treats are also going to happen on their own. Took out the cupcake. You want this? You gave the cupcake to Pikachu. Um. That. Hey. Thief. Hey, it took the toolbox. There's no way to connect uh, to contact Professor Oak without it. Gotta get that toolbox back. We've been robbed. Pikachu. Gotta catch Pikachu and get that toolbox. Hey, buddy, what? Oh, did I scare you? Hey, come back here. That's mine. Um, buddy. Pikachu. Oh, there you are. Hey. What's the big idea? I thought... Pikachu, I thought we were friends. Is this because you ate the cupcake? Is this what sugar does to you? Hey. Pikachu. This camera's not great. Oh, there you are. Hey. What a little rascal. Pikachu, I'm going to need an explanation. Pikachu went deep into the woods. Such behavior. There it is. Pikachu's with Caterpie. Hey, lunch is laid out in front of the Caterpie. Oh. I guess that's how Caterpie sound. Are we apologetic now? Do we feel bad for our crimes? Oh, it was all right. What? Pikachu's giving you the beach ball as its apology. Hmm. Well, maybe you can take the beach ball from Pikachu and forgive it for what it did. <laughs> I suppose it's a start. Now then, put the beach ball in the item storage part of the toolbox. Oh. Just like when you take something out, press start to open the toolbox and place the beach ball inside. I see. Oh, that's how you do, like, uh, yeah, like... Storing things. Cool. All right. All right. There we go. Well, all is forgiven, I guess, little buddy. Yeah, crime is tiring. Pikachu fed all the food to the hungry Caterpie, so it didn't get to eat any itself.
You know, Pikachu, if you had asked, I could have helped. Stay at my house. Pika, pika, pika. All trust issues <laughs> sorted out immediately, I guess. Stay at my house. Pikachu. I feel like we're still being played here. <laughs> but you are very cute. What a surprise! To think a wild Pokemon would open its heart to a human who isn't even its trainer. The secret is to let it steal from you. That Pikachu is still young, so it doesn't know the difference between good and bad. Clearly. I want you to look after Pikachu and raise it to be a fine Pokemon. Now then, go on home with Pikachu. Well, if it isn't Pikachu. Hmm? Professor Oak asked you to look after it. Hey, hello, Pikachu. Looks like you'll be with us from now on. Boy, Mom's really good at just rolling with it. Make yourself at home. And before you even think about it, the bed is mine. Oh, that's cute. Oh, did we finally reach a title screen? Or a... <laughs> Hey, we'll be together all the time from now on. I see you've claimed the bed. Good night. Okay, well. Guess I'll go find a sleeping bag. This is very cute. Good morning. I hope you slept well. Hey, there's a message. Good morning. Are you and Pikachu getting along? Today I have some good news for you. Look toward the sliding door. Oak, it's weird you have a direct line to my house and my TV. From here, you can go to Pikachu's Discovery Days. Oh. Pikachu's Discovery Days include the areas you visited so far. You can keep following along with Pikachu. Next, why don't you go into the yard to play? Stand in front of the bedroom door. Okay. Now press the A button to go to the yard. I would have thought the yard was through the other door, but... You're the boss. TV Oak. You can go to Pikachu's play days from this gate. On Pikachu's play days, you and Pikachu can do more than you could before. But let me explain one thing. Don't leave Pikachu all by itself just because you can move around however you like. Um, okay. Pikachu, come here. Pikachu, come here. Wait. Where are you going? Come here. Come here. Come here. Buddy. Come on. We're go- Hey. You're ignoring me still. Come here. Come here. Hey! That's our house, nerd. What are you doing? So poorly behaved. Are you wanting to go inside now? Well, okay. If that's where you're wanting to go. No thoughts on this, Pikachu.
Pikachu. Over here. Looking for something. Didn't find anything. Well, I didn't tell you to look. I. Hey! Don't just walk away from me. I'm talking to you. How am I to teach you morality? Um, those are tools, bud. I don't think we need to be playing with these. Pikachu, I feel like we might be done with this. You agree? I think so. <laughs> where, where are you going? I don't know if we need gardening help. Oh, are you tired already? <laughs> it is very cute. Good night. That uh, well, and up and full of energy again. Goodness gracious. Sleepy little guy. We should play a different Pokemon spinoff, I think. <laughs> I think we've gotten the idea now, seeing some of the cute little animations. Got the idea. And frankly, there are better Pokemon spinoffs <laughs> to be spending our time with. So. Pikachu. Say goodbye. That will have to suffice. I hope you've enjoyed your time <laughs> with this little Pikachu. Pikachu tired. Well. Let's switch over, I think. Leave Pikachu to its nap. And let me queue up a different game. <laughs>